Welcome back to day three of Creative Christmas. Today we're going to move around the back of your camera uh, and we're going to cover the first of the three major settings which affect your exposure and that's shutter speed. First things first, get your camera off automatic and see what changing the shutter speed does to your photographs. Um, understanding how to use your shutter speed means the difference between taking a blurry photo or taking a sharp photo and it's one of the three elements which affect your exposure. Those are shutter speed, um, your ISO and your aperture. Uh, over the next few days uh, we will cover those so please do tune back in. Uh, your shutter speed refers to the amount of time the shutter stays open to, um, to allow light to hit your sensor. So when you press your shutter speed and your shutter is set to 1 100th or 100th of a second, uh, the shutter will stay open for 100th of a second or 0 0.01 of a second. Uh, this can be used for creative purposes as well as getting a technically correct image. Uh, if you're shooting a sporting event, you probably want all your, your subjects pin sharp, everybody's moving really fast. Um, so you want a really fast shutter speed. So anything from 1, 500 and above would be great for that. Uh, on the opposite end of the scale, if you're shooting a waterfall or a landscape or something like that, you may want the water appear like fog, everyone's seen those National Geographic shots. Um, so you're gonna need a longer shutter speed to do that. Um, that allows more light to hit the center and records more of the scene. Uh, you may have already guessed though, if you let light, less light in, your photograph's gonna get darker. If you let more light in, um, then obviously it's gonna get lighter. So check back over the next couple of days um, where we're gonna go over ISO and aperture to see how you can counteract that. Again guys, thanks for watching. And um, if you are enjoying these, or if you think there's somebody who would benefit from these, please do send it to them or subscribe. If you're on YouTube, subscribe below um, or go onto the blog and you should subscribe there and we'll send these directly to your inbox every day.